they've been around for 450 million years and survived four mass extinction events. No, not the Kardashians. They have a ferocious reputation and have been known to eat people. But now, they're facing their toughest challenge yet, us. Can a shark really smell a drop of blood from a mile away? Is their bad rap the whole truth? And how could sharks help us? We're taking a deep dive into the life of these prehistoric fish to find out why sharks are important. There are more than 440 kinds of sharks roaming the oceans, seas, and even freshwater habitats. They come in all sizes, from big to small. But for some reason, they have a bad reputation. <laughs> Jaws, <laughs> Jaws. Maybe it could be because of their fierce nature, or perhaps it's their scary looks. Jaws, Jaws. If you look at hammerhead sharks, it's no wonder that people are cautious. But just think of them like giant detectors seeking out their next meal. Hopefully it's not you. There's the great white shark. It's the biggest, and it probably causes the most negative feelings of all the sharks. Didn't, 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 just a guess. They measure six meters or more in length and weigh at over two and a half tons. They are apex predators, meaning they're right at the top of their respective food chains. Great whites are also the sharks most often linked to attacks on humans, and their bad rap has extended to all other sharks around the planet. There's also the myth of sharks being able to smell a drop of blood from 1.6 kilometers away. Well, that's not really true either. Sharks do have an excellent sense of smell, far better than ours, but not as good as we're afraid of. And it's more like 400 to 530 meters away that they can smell blood. But is our fear and panic helping sharks? Unsurprisingly, no. First, take a look at some statistics. Do you know the chances of being killed by a shark are 1 in 3.75 million? Unless you're in the movie Jaws. In comparison, the odds of dying in a car crash are far more likely, at 1 in 272. But that's probably a topic for an episode of How to Survive, hint, hint. You are more likely to be killed by a dog than a shark, with 25,000 deaths a year caused by man's best friend. And if he kills you, he's not your friend. So let's turn the tables and ask, how many sharks do you think humans kill every year? Well, it's a staggering 100 million sharks. That's almost 200 sharks every minute. Most sharks get killed for the food and traditional medicine industries in Asia. But enough with all this negativity about sharks. It's time we heard some positive news, and there's plenty of it. Do you know that sharks are like the wolves of the ocean? They prey on smaller grazing fish, especially where they're seagrass. And if sharks did not eat the smaller grazers, they'd eat way too much seagrass and seriously deplete these carbon-reducing plants. Then there's sharks' impact on our technology. We don't quite have robo-sharks yet, but sharks have some secrets that could greatly improve our tech. Their torpedo-like shape helps them glide through the water effortlessly, and scientists have discovered that shark skin is just as special. It's got denticles, scales of different shapes and sizes, which help sharks increase lift and decrease their drag through the water, just like planes need to take off and fly. Researchers are combining 3D printing technology and prehistoric shark denticle designs to test and create wings that perform much better. There's more to sharks than you might think. They're important for our future and our planet's future. Speaking of creatures that can help us, why not check out 10 animals that may hold the key to cures? They might be scary looking and ferocious, but they are helping us. That's what sharks do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.